All in favor? I got Betty. Got Betty to present, please. Have Nettie Edmond as present. Okay. Oh, she's here. This was it. Nettie's here. Sorry, Stephanie Pamela. Is that correct? I'm sorry. First to a motion made by Stephanie Sandin. Right. By Pamela. Right. Correct. By Pamela. Yes. Pamela. Pamela. <clears throat> and then that would be uh, that it passes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight yeas, one abstention. Nettie is abstained from motion to speak. So she's participating and present, but is staying on here. All right. Unless additions and corrections to the November 16th agenda. That's the one you have here that got handed out. This one has already been corrected, but corrections to the posted agenda that was online, which has already been made on your copy here, is 8A, we're deleting and moving the other items up because we talked about the deinstallation of gather enough people last week, last yeah. month. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're adding 9D, one month lights, and 9E, safety and justice building. The, the mosaic, how we live and what we live for. We're adding those items to the agenda that's posted. All right, Sean McCoy. Yeah. Congratulations, Sean. Congratulations, Sean. Yeah, congratulations, oh, Sean. Yeah, you do. We hope you'll be continuing. All right, updates. Nominating committee, Danielle and Jennifer. Um, we have, I just spoke last month, I think. We have four openings right now, but only two are available right now, and two are next June. Okay. So, Danielle, do you have a report? Yeah. We had six interviews. Yeah, six interviews um, last week, and then we did one this week on Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? Yeah, days are blending. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I don't know where I'm at right now. Um, so yeah, so we did um, six interviews. Um, they all went very, very well. Um, every single person um, did a, had a pretty great interview. Um, I think uh, all said and done, all of them would have been very nice additions to the. Commission, um, we um, we kind of we uh, did get really tough on us. We really had to break every person down um, by the things that were the most important to us, um, which we think that we we did a pretty good job. I think kind of making a rounded thing about what was most important to all of us about the community and what we all really wanted to see. Um, so we broke everybody else up pretty down. So they were all voted originally by their original. Um, we, that we all interview basically the same process everybody went through that and then we sat down individually um, after the interview we're all finished to dive a little deeper because everybody scored so well so um, and then yeah Jennifer <laughs> I don't know um, so uh, every all of the applications were very thoughtful very interesting people and as Daniel said all of them would be good um, would bring something to the commission. Uh, our top, this is our top priorities that we worked on and discussed were to bring that we want to add to the commission diversity, uh, a willingness to contribute to the community and to the city, uh, arts experience, and knowledge of it, knowledge of AIPD, which is what's important to us because. We have so much going on, as you all know, that we're hoping to have new people hit the ground running. So this knowledge of, um, at least some knowledge of our process. So those were our top priorities that we um, that we focused on as we discussed all of the applications. And our next steps will be that we have made we make our recommendations to the city council. The city council will decide if they want to interview or what they want to do it it really is not our decision we we will recommend to the city council only and we'll see what they do so angela yep so as i understand interviews will be december the 16th and appointments will be the 19th and then we will hear back and uh, after we hear back then we can send a note to all of the applicants and say thank you very much 
Here are some other opportunities such as selection panels. And also there will be two more seats, at least two more seats that become available in June. And we will offer or suggest if you're interested in reapplying, then you can do that. So that's the process. So yep. is um, the, the city council only going to be interviewing the people that you, re that you recommend? I do not know. Okay, they might actually take all six of the people. They could do whatever they want. Okay, all right. Just all right. We need a motion here because it was not clear when we made this nominating committee that the nom we want a motion to formally delegate the recommendation decision to the nominating committee. So the nominating committee can forward on their recommendations to the city council without having all of us to have to interview everybody. That's why we have the nominating committee. So I need a, unless we want to talk about this and everybody says, oh no, we want to watch all the interviews. <laughs> and, and formally this, this delegation should have happened when we established the nominating committee. Yeah, we, sorry. Okay, so we kind of do. So we need a, a, a motion to delegate the recommendation decision to the nominating committee. I move that we delegate the nomination decision to the nominating committee. <laughs> so they can forward it on to Council. Yes. Second. Thank you all. All in favor? That's again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Jennifer. And, and Jennifer. Great. And then Iris and Nettie Epstein. So two of the same. I would say that there is a little bit of everything um, that was represented with all of those interviews, um, or a little, little, little bit of everything, or there's a good mixture of things. Of course, you could always have like, more diversity, um, but I think that the group was um, was a very good group to choose from. I think cool. that they all kind of provided something a little different than one another, which I thought was kind of a great group to choose from. So, just I was curious because I wondered if we were reaching. Yep, absolutely. We're getting there. We're trying. Right. For sure. Right. For sure. Right. Yes, of course. And one thing to note, uh, thank you very much, Laura, from Social Media Campaign and some of the work that we're doing by talking out in our community. We had eight applicants. We had eight applicants. Some boards and commissions had zero. And we had eight. So, what we are doing by trying to get the word out, what we're doing about being excited, the work we're doing as outreach, and absolutely 100% social media, it it is working, and we're we're getting there. So um, the two applicants, one did not interview by choice, and one uh, was not registered to vote, which is a requirement. So uh, we're of course inviting those people to to return when we can have the communication. Basically. Yep. Well, I love that. You're saying that because I felt like from all those small community events that I had been involved with, I was always handing out applications. Some people were really pumped about it. So, yay. 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 Mm -hmm. That's all. Yay. Okay. Before we get to 7B, I need to state for the record that Iris and Betty have joined us via Zoom. Okay. So, Item 7B, Clover Meadows. Oh, that was what I was supposed to have. Uh-oh. There was something else. Clover Meadows. Clover Meadows is a park. Gross. Clover <laughs> Meadows <laughs> is a park <laughs> that you all have designated and allocated $60,000 for a project. And our Parks Department people have come back to us with some updates, I'm talking slow. So we're, talk, when we're talking about this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Keep in mind that we're going to look for a task force of two people to take right. out the art in this park. If right. you are on a task force presently, yeah. Let other people have a chance. Other people have a chance. Okay. This is an old, this is old. But 
It gives you an idea. Where's this one? This one's way out. It's way west. Oh. Yes. Um, so kind of to the to the east, a little bit to the right, like Renaissance is over there. Yeah. Um, okay, that's it's got a it's a very great view west of the mountains and things like that. So some of the things that actually are being talked about right now. Um, the bike skills pump track situation, which is kind of up here, if you will, um, um, that is is happening and is under a little bit of um, discussion of how that is going to be happening. Um, is it is it up and down? Yeah, it's got those like wavy tracks, so kids on Strider bikes and you know all, it's kind of for everyone. I don't know why this is flipping, but anyway, um, and then. Where 10 in is here, over on the left a little bit more. Apparently, as of the conversation right now, the city forester is talking about um, the first uh, uh, fruit tree orchard. Ooh, good. Nice. Like pick some fruit. There's fruit in Rogers Road. Yeah, I intentionally put in and they might be confused first ever but yet still nonetheless fruit trees that you could pick <laughs> orchard the one is being discussed there when they took it as there a you go they they built around yeah. the fruit yeah. trees at rogers park this one is intentional um and then of course there will be a, a playground and the amenities that are standard of every neighborhood park uh but we of course um would like to work very directly with the Parks Department in developing and figuring out the call for artists and then which direction to go um, as they, because this is design build and we've never done design build before. So Fox Meadows, which I know that we have, um, you guys uh, got the task force last time, but Fox Meadows is design build and so is this. So it's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve, but I think it's gonna be good for everyone. There are also a lot of new folks who are on the Parks Department so um, it's good because we're going to figure out some best practices, but lots of communication. So has there been uh, community discussions yet? This um, design build was launched um, during the COVID era. And so, yes, some of that happened, but they're done with it. So we're going to receive all of that information, including all of the contact information of anybody who participated and then be able to communicate with them. The rest of the um, uh, community outreach would be specific to public art. It okay. will not be specific to um, park development. Does I was that just, make sense? Yeah, I was okay. just wondering if the local community had expressed any interest in any particular kind of art. No, not okay. really. But we also have not asked them. Okay. Yeah. So we're looking for a task force. Get it on the ground floor, floor and start thinking outside the box for what kind of art goes into this okay. neighborhood park. I'm happy to do that, but can I just say something? Sure. I, I go on the bike path all the time, and, and over at Creekside, you know, you have that uh, sculpture of the ant and the leaf mm -hmm. and everything, and you know, I see kids playing on that all the time, flying and having a great time. And you know, uh, like I ride my bike over toward um, uh, the Red Barn and the Water Park, right? And and then there's that sculpture that's over there that's not far from the um, uh, bathrooms. The, it's a metal sculpture. Yeah, those rejuvenations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, I don't know. It's it's so different. I want to say it doesn't get the interaction. Does it, you know, there's nobody playing around it or using it or in any way interacting with it ever. So I just, you know, there's a big difference in, um, you know, what the public can enjoy. I just want to say it'll be better when we have a sign up for that that it's a commemoration of the flood, that it's, uh, it's Not the body of our, yeah. our recovery from that. Mm -hmm. It'll be better when there's a sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I get awesome. It, it's like in, in Dawson Park and we have the, the Dawson Soaker Tree and nobody plays on it, but I really stand and watch it and look at all the kids' friends and we're old and have friends and the 
So oh, I yeah. answer stuff like that all the time. Whenever I get here, I'm going to go to the Indian public. Okay, so I'm still looking for volunteers for task force for this. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Anna Morrill. Can I get a third? Or? Nope, just two. Just and just you two. signed up for Fox Meadows, correct? Yeah. I, whatever it is, is it not? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, I did not know this one was coming up. This is like in my backyard. Hmm. Do you want to switch? Because now is the time. <laughs> you can switch out. <laughs> but someone has to take five minutes. Yeah, I, I'd switch with you. Would you want to do that? Okay. Is there a nice side of town? Huh? Is there a nice side of town? Too? Nah, I'm, I'm on the west side of town, but okay. it's okay. Okay. No, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. yeah, I'll be on Fox Meadows. Okay. That's okay. You can be on that. Okay, okay so just to okay. be clear, Stephanie. Yes. Stephanie is going to be on Clover Meadows with Laurel. Well, so there's a problem with that though. Oh. Um, Laurel, your term limited come June. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. So we need uh, some. So we need something else. else. Yeah. No. Okay. I will do one. I don't care which one. I will do one. Okay. Well, we whatever it is, we just need needed to be clear for Angela's brain. Yeah. And okay. also, All right. Laurel, if you if you're on this. Task force, yeah. you're going to have to leave halfway through oh, the uh, the process, okay. and we'll have to get somebody else in. Okay. So, so but we can, I mean, we, we can, can do that. We can do that just as a resident. But I would say then I just need to get here a second. Well, as long as the commission is okay with the fact that as a as a task force representative, that Laurel will be. Um, voting and such on behalf of the commission as a commissioner for the first six months, but that there could be meetings or something that happens subsequently. And in that situation, Art and Public Place would formally only have one representative because we can't go to meet three. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So as long well, as can we put, but can we put someone new in at Laurel? Nope. Once Laurel we get this here? process. This process is going to be out of the gate, and once we get the selection panel put in place, then that's that's what it is. I know, but I think what she's saying is we're going to have new commissioners in January. They would put one of those on. But we also have the bridge coming that will be coming oh, up, yeah. and we also have 2024 projects. We also have the plans. We got plenty of stuff to do. It's, it's not sure to say we don't have plenty of stuff. The the I think what we're talking about here is that. Just so everyone's clear that, not that it would make any difference, but that informal representation on the, on the commission, you would start with Laurel and come June, you know, you can still come to the meetings here and all of those bits and pieces, but just so the commission knows that the a commissioner would only be one representative on that room. Does that make sense? It does. Um, I know. And I'm not waiting my hand because I think I'm done in June. Seven. I think you have until June of 2025. I think you do too. You and Cindy and we just looked this up. I know. Me and the only person who is term limited, term limited uh -huh. this year is Laurel. Okay. And then two of you, Stephanie and Iris, will be done with your first term. And you will have to reapply come June to start your second term. But I can't do it. How many terms can I have? Two. Yep. You're up. So you have, to, have to sit. You have to sit for a year before you reapply. Oh, oh, okay. So I am just saying, saying this because this is the way that the policy is written. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. In practice, it's not going to make any difference if Laurel is serving on the selection panel and is coming to the selection panel meetings and then her term is up and she keeps coming to the selection panel meetings and you know is voting as a resident in practice it's going to make zero zero difference as long as the commission is aware does that make sense yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. okay yes. and then what i have here according to the minutes according to the minutes then we have three people though. yes but that can't be the case so it will be uh, now it's pamela and nettie as Fox Meadows, and it is Stephanie and Laurel as 
clover meadows. So we'll be renaming these parks soon, so they don't get too attached to anything. Because it's kind of boring. Oh, uh, yeah. And then uh, Stephanie and Pooh. That's right. Stephanie and Laurel will be serving as clover meadows. And again, don't get too comfortable in not having a subcommittee or um, um, task force because there's, there's a lot of projects going on. Yeah. Everybody's going to have the opportunity. So when do you anticipate that these two parks are going, that these task forces are going to have to meet the first time for these two parks? Very soon. Very, by very soon, do you mean? I mean, I'm going to be sending a note out to the task force asking them the dip commonalities in their schedules so okay. we can get them. All right. Okay. And are we going to continue with the parks people that we might yes. hear about the design? They'll probably even come here. Okay, awesome. Yeah. That'd be great. But like this design right there is May of 2019. So there's been a lot of updates. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And as task force members, you're going to have to make decisions working with them of where the arc is going to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. What it's going to be and where it's going to be. Yeah, ish. Okay, any questions? That's a clear as mud. Anybody want to change? Yes or yes? Just kidding. Okay, C. 7C, traffic boxes. So I'm on that task force. And we're, the group, the task force is going to meet in late November, sometime like okay. the week after Thanksgiving, I think. Well, I was on that. You are. Okay, I still am. Okay. We just need, that if the three of us can sit here after, perfect, and with our calendars. All right, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, all right. Um, the first, we're going to do three boxes first and uh, pick pictures and get them wrapped and hopefully in December, it's gonna go really fast. And then we're gonna look for another 20, 25 next year. I have, I did identify one, so it's not a big scary box for me anymore. I identified one, I know where it is, but it was on 119, so that's no good. But I found, but I know what they are now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that was really good. I think we should have a, uh, Pumpkin pie days picture. Okay. Pumpkin pie days picture. Really cool. Yeah, there's a lot of those. Oh, I have one. I, yeah, I have there's one. There's a lot of those. The, yeah, that's. Yeah, I have tables of pumpkin pies. <laughs> it's just so iconic. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And if you follow us on Instagram, I you will have <laughs> recently <laughs> seen Mars' right excellent right? choices yeah. of some of those historic photos. Yeah, they're so fun. Nice I have a whole list. It's so fun to oh, just cool. type in like a search word. I like typed in turkey. And, and I was like, oh, maybe not the most appropriate thing. <laughs> like, I don't mean turkey, but. <laughs> but what, how did you say that you love the girl that was full of her um, ice skating? I, I like that. Yeah, she's like wearing hot pants and like putting on a little her. That's ice the one I saw. Yeah. 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 Was it like yeah. Yeah. Older derby era? No, it was just, uh, I guess it was too warm outside, so she was like, I'm gonna wear my hot pants. And there was a comment in like the section like her dad disapproved, and I took that out. So I was like, no, 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 she's lived her life. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course, course, Rex loved it so much, and uh, on our Facebook page that they just basically cut and paste. They're like, and we're gonna be opening, and then they just shared our post. Yeah. So oh, pretty awesome, awesome. Good job, Laura. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so in general. Great job Thanks. on all your posts and all your social and media. Speaking of Laura, <laughs> shocker. Shocker. Um, so, not a whole lot different from last time we spoke about shocker. We're still waiting on a few artists to finish, but the boxes that have been finished are now completely good. good. So, that's kind of like a little update. They only have 15 more nights to finish, so we try not to be too much, too momish to them because. They're adults and they sign contracts. We'll see. How many are left? Well, so Sage is out. You weren't here for that, but Sage's box was graffiti coded prematurely. Yes. Uh -huh. That's the mushrooms from last Yeah, oh. they, they tried to repaint it, but the paint just came off. So they have to completely sandblast it. So Sage will redo their box by spring of next year. Yeah. And then Geely's. Box was never as pretty coated and it got hit with the painting, so she, she has to recoat it. The um, Mario box, Lindsay Land, that one's still um, in process. And then 
stepping on the Talto. She did the cows and the aliens. That's okay. it. She's really close to being done. I've been following her on Instagram, so. Yeah. Hopefully she'll let me know this weekend that she's done. So. Oh, yeah, we'll send her. Yeah. yeah. And so we're plowing along just fine. Plowing along. Um, so yeah, me next again. Yeah, so next as we were talking about before, I've been doing social media. Um, we just got our Instagram account not even a month ago. It'll be like two days to the month that we have the Instagram account. Um, I've been trying to feature pieces in the collection, um, interesting photos that I think will get a lot of traction. I did see that I shared one of the photos from historical archives as like a downtown photo and Voice of Long not reshared it and it got like a ton of comments which was great. Um, one of the things that I would love to do is I'd love to feature some of you on Instagram so that we can actually you know show what we do and what kind of people are behind the driving force of art in public places just to get some interest in you know not only selection deals yeah your chat. <laughs> um, so next to the bear that's in the box, <laughs> I'm going to send out just an email just to ask for either like questions about what your favorite artwork is, what your favorite part about being on the commission is, maybe a photo of you with a piece of art or like a piece of art that you like. You don't have or to just pull up like a ceramic thing in front of my face. You can do whatever, just something fun that would engage <coughs> people in interacting with us right. via social media. Um, and if you have any ideas about social media posts, let me know because I'm really open. We're still trying to figure out like what gets the best kind of attention while still being within the umbrella of City of Long Long because they're pretty strict about what you can and can't post. It sounds like on. the historic photos are a big hit all over the place. Yeah, I can't believe that the, oh, the museum has an eye more of it. You could do like a then and now picture of the same spot. Great minds, great minds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could do some place like, you know, look back in time, even at the same spot. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. also you could be like, okay, today's, today's photo will be tomorrow's history. And then you could have, you know, today's photo. And then it doesn't necessarily need to be the same spot, but a piece of artwork or something. And then it could be, you know, tomorrow, today's history, right? And then you show something from some particular decade. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Or you could do something that's like, you know, what were you doing in the 70s? You know, what were you doing in the whatever year? Yeah. And I think people would comment on that one. Like, I remember the long, long, what is the cruising capital of Northern Colorado? Yeah. Whatever. Um, or, or artist spotlights, you know, like of the collection. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which I have been doing. Um, and if you have a favorite that you want me to feature, let me know. I've been kind of picking my favorites. Have you done fun. a robot? Hmm? Have you done a robot? I don't think that is. Oh. He's not a part of our collection. Yeah. But I did. I did do one video. of him though no, because everybody loves him so much. The I know that's why I was saying that yeah. everybody loves him. You know, he's kind of like the bear. Everybody loves the bear, and it's everybody loves the little bug. I think yeah. it's because he's whimsical, and he's just like unexpected. He, he probably he's got a great expression on his face. The one that you wouldn't expect from a robot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's a happy robot. <laughs> he's he's a very unrobotic robot. Yeah, he's a contented, happy robot. You know, yes, you, know you could do the art on the move pieces that have come from our collection. Yeah, you know what's funny is both of them I don't have a whole lot of information about. So I've been like I've been going through our archives trying to get the collection kind of together and I've been learning more and more about things that we didn't even know about because it just was lost. But um the Dancing Moon, I can't find anything about it in our in our museum. It's so weird. Hmm. But even though I know it's been documented that we've had it. So I mean, all great ideas yeah. if I find it, but great. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So moving on to maintenance. Kitely. Maintenance. We talked about this a little bit last month, but yes. uh, the painting was done, and now the sealant. The sealant is on. Oh, uh, good. Yeah. So really, we just, 
as expected and as we as we knew, we are testing these materials. We're going to see how it behaves. We're going to watch it very carefully over the winter time. Um, I also spoke to the Parks Department, which recently painted some more concrete that they have in sandstone. They do it about every two years, and they know this. So, um, you know, I just don't want their expectations to be anything different than what it is, but it is sealed. So um, we will make sure when we revisit the maintenance um, uh, assignments, once we'll do, we'll let people get on board on um, the first meeting and then get them to sign up, and we'll want to resign up. But that's going to be a big one. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's a done deal, and the artist, of course, is, is thrilled to the moon. Uh, if you follow JC Miller on Instagram, um, she's been using this a lot. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that's cool. Okay, the, I'm sorry to say, the knife and Alpine girl. Sorry. As we all knew what happened, uh, knife and Alpine have been getting hit with tags. Um, it's our black rustoleum, you know, spray paint that we hate. Um, Laura and I, our settles went out and spent a good portion of the morning scrubbing on it. Um, we are working with our graffiti partners um, in making sure that we just identify it as soon as possible. Um, it's still leaving a little bit of a ghost image, I would say, um, but we're working on it. So because of the weather, you know, we just have to treat the graffiti seal and we have to clean it up. Come springtime, we'll look at how it's holding up again and if we need to, you know, put on more graffiti sealant or address certain areas, um, we'll do that. But um, aside from that, I would, I spoke to um, our IT department and I, our camera is on motions right now. But we also, I would like to have it on all the time, which just changes retention of that, that imagery. I've been calling the police department every two weeks. I put in a new request for added patrols. That's continuous. But I would really like to add another camera to the other side of the uh, of the box cooler. So I'm here today to ask for a motion. Camera. Should I we make a motion? motion? Yes. I move that we add another camera to the box cooler. Yep. To capture anybody that is performing terrible acts of. Yeah, and just as a clarification, this will be a one time expense for installation and purchase of the camera, and it is ongoing operating expenses. Um, the camera that I have presently, I think, is about $40 a month. Um, so you can just, I mean, it's not, it's not a massive expense, but it is an expense. So just know that if you pass this motion, it will be an ongoing expense, not a one time. Did we have to buy the camera? No, that's a good question. I, I think yes, and also IT is kind of uh, going about a whole new revamping of the camera system, because right now I think we have more than one, I think, um, and I think they're trying to consolidate. But once we're in their system, then we're just kind of adopted it. Okay, so this motion is for the Purchase of a new camera if necessary to installation and uh, it's an it's an operation. Operation. Yes, operation. Yes, correct. Yeah. I second. Did you need clarification? No, no I was going to, I did want to make another comment, but you can finish your motion first. Okay. So, Stephanie first, me second. All in favor? Okay, so the comment is what if we assign? on either end of the tunnel that says, you know, this is your public art. Something about like, your government has like, you know, thousands of hours of volunteer, hours of blah, 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 right? And we're invested to create this art to bring it to you. So please, please take care of it. Um, by the way, smile, you're on camera. So the smile, you're on camera, camera is there. That sign is already there. Um, and it's a good point. Um, once upon a time, long ago and far away, the graffiti specialist who was part of the uh, city when it was first getting hit was really, really involved in gang activity with the Shield or Newton families, all of those kinds of things. And before we signed the contract with the artist when we were originally deciding whether or not to do this project and all of the hours and all of the dollars and all those things, we asked him that very question. Like, 
how impactful would a message, like a plea in essence, be? And he said, not. He said, you are going to cultivate. So it was his professional opinion not to do such a thing. That said, this person is no longer with the city. Um, it was his, his, and his alone professional recommendation. We could ask our police officer friends. We could ask our children, youth, and families what their opinion would be. But I do think if we make that decision in a silo, in this room, in this room alone, that is a very big decision. Yeah. So if your direction is to start investigating that conversation and if that's something we should do, then I'm happy to take a run with that. But I think just to do it is a mistake. I feel like just like with the child's mind though, I feel like that I can totally see where they were going with that comment. It's oh, like yeah. just thinking about any kid under the age of 18 who say no, oh, I'm gonna do it. Like yeah, yeah, they exactly. feel like that. Like I love the idea, I wish we could have the boards, but I feel like those that are doing the tagging exactly. aren't gonna read it and they don't the care. The thing is that the people doing tagging yeah. are not like tweets. Well, like, well, even if they are, like, yeah, that means they carry this less at that yeah. rate. Yeah. Like, if they are even older, they, they really don't care. Like, yeah. and that's at least how, I mean, with my own personal experiences, like, I feel that, like, those people just don't care. They don't. Their mind is completely elsewhere. They don't care how much time is going to invest or how much money is going to spend. They're just going to do what they want. It's kind of shocking to me that there's no, like, because people who tag consider themselves artists. No. Not all of them. You know, some of them just communities it is, absolutely. Yeah. But I think that also too it becomes a challenge of what you can do and where you can do it. Don't other I think I think. I think. We should ask Angela to at least ask around the police officers and then, oh. and just say, Do you think this is a good idea or not? And we'd have to do it bilingually. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. and put up a sign and everything in it. But yeah, if other people might come back and say, no, you don't want to do that. I think just sign, asking for trouble. Uh, they sign, might say, yeah, that might work. A sign just uh, presents another surface to get tagged. You know, it's that just something else. And it's like, point, like point, 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 point. that's such a good point. It's a surface that most people are going to But I think it's worth a couple of questions. Yeah. 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 Plus, you send that message out. You can use nice language on <laughs> I mean, and that messaging could be one of many, right? Do you want to learn more about this artist? Here's a QR code. Right. And that's what we're trying to do, certainly, with <coughs> some of the tour stuff. Like, maybe it ends up being more educational yeah. rather than wagging the finger at somebody. I don't know. We're not there yet with this piece of artwork, but maybe we start getting there. I, I don't know. But I'm, I'm happy to ask the police officers, and I think children, youth, and families. I think that that would be because the um, youth center is so close to the center. Yeah, it is. Whom, whomever is doing this, someone in that building probably knows who else. Yeah. Thank you. Guess. Totally guess. Thank you. Thank you. So I so the directive is to ask children, youth, and families director um, and staff, as well as our friends in safety. Um, some opinions. Yeah. I will do such. Is there any kind of sign we can put up that I'll picture? Hey, you got it. We'll do. So, hey, new business. New business. Downtown Mural. So, we all know about the boutique hotel that's going in at 3rd right. and Market, okay? And there's going to be a parking garage. The LDDA, the Longmont Downtown District Authority, District Authority has asked us to um, consider putting a mural up on that parking garage when it eventually gets built. No, so they get like they have, have and we are. They <laughs> have um, offered up to $150,000. Oh, wow, that's good. Uh, that they're just gonna put in our account. <laughs> and um, now keep in mind that the spoke mural cost us Sixty thousand dollars, and that's welcome. It is okay. So we probably won't use all that, but it's all inclusive. That includes the the priming, I guess, and the painting, and the ceiling, and everything that would all be up to us. Okay. Okay, from that money. So um, I need 
Is there any questions? Are there, there any questions? Are, yeah. I accept the money. <laughs> I <laughs> actually <laughs> accept the money. <laughs> That's pretty much what you have, have to answer. Sandy, Wayne, or Angela, or somebody yeah. that might have. When did it begin, the jack that this will begin? Uh, I have heard 2025. Yeah. So I should say that. Uh, that this entire conversation is very much in its infancy, okay. uh, and that uh, I attended the the LDDA meeting last month, where their board had the conversation about having desiring to embark on a public art project with Park and Public Places. The garage will be this belong to the city, and so a mural on the garage. Would be a public art project, okay. and so then the LDDA board um, formally approved, asking you if they can donate up to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and we will develop the project together. But the process has to go through the public art process. Sure. Okay. So it's coming from LDDA. Yes, uh -huh. up to the entire one hundred and fifty thousand dollars will be deposited into our account. And what I mean, like, I mean, remember when the step was in its infancy, and you know, the developer was like, We want all these screens, and you guys can help it, and then that went away. Yeah, um, you think this is more secure? It will be extremely, it will be very visible. This, it would, from what I'm going to say, it will likely be three sides, it will likely face uh, the Alley, uh -huh. it will likely face north and it will also face the Civic Center. And as I understand, the hotel is on the corner right. and the garage is adjacent to the north. So um, I don't have any renderings, I don't have any square footage. Uh, but will there be people who are invested in stakeholders with interest? Yes. Will they come there and sit around the table and attend the meetings and have opinions? Yes. And so is this the parking lot right behind the Dickens? Yes, okay. But That's it's what I the, the hotel is directly behind Dickens. Right. And then the garage is adjacent to the building. Okay. So the whole okay. King so Wiggle exactly. is gonna be up. Yeah. So the reason this is coming up now is that the LDDA wants to budget it for next, you know, budget the right. Money. And it would be nice if we knew that was going to be there for our budgeting of this project when it comes up to. Sure. So it would be really cool if we. So we need a motion. Up, up. We don't. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't. I know you were saying. I wanted to say. So you said we probably couldn't use that entire amount for a mural. So it would be nice to be able to explore, like, what sorts of maybe like public seating could we provide? Or this is a hundred percent. This is a hundred percent up to $150,000 to be used on a mural on that garage. We're talking three sides too. That's going to be pricey, especially if it's two yeah. years out and we are needed only one side of and we put 60K a year, two years out? Year ago? Year ago. So yeah, so with that being said, that's that price is How many floors? Love yes, I don't, I don't know. I don't know square footage. Okay. I don't know square yeah, yeah. So we have to wait until we get much closer when the architects have an idea about yes. what it's going to look like yeah. before we can make any firm plans or put out a call or anything. Yeah. But we just need a motion if we're willing to accept $150,000 for use in this project specifically. My motion that we accept uh, $150,000 from the LDDA. No, up to. Up to. Okay, sorry. It's up to $150,000 from the LDDA to put a mural on the new boutique hotel. No, city garage. City <laughs> garage. <laughs> okay. The new city <laughs> Well, that was. I will second that. Great. Perfect. Wilson. All in favor? <laughs> Great. That's nine. Oh, that's not true. Okay. Thank you. And yes. as it comes, and I should say, as it comes about, which it will, the details will come about in 2024, then we'll assign task force, right. we'll put the timeline with it, and all of those things. Awesome. Yeah. So, I didn't quite get to finish my thought. No, sure. So, just really would like to finish it. Okay. Yeah. 
So, you know, we were talking earlier about, I don't know what the, it's a sustainability uh, measure to make sure that there's shade and yeah. people who are taking buses and things like that. So a parking structure should be serviced by public transportation, obviously, or bicycles or something like that. So I was going to try and say, yeah. you know, if we can have some sort of canopy that's included in the art, they don't have to fund it. We can fund it through our own budget, right? Why not? And add something to that place that accommodates that need for sustainability and shape. Because yeah. I think if you look at like the smoke garage, right, it's like baking over there. Yeah, right. That's true. And there's yeah. Well, no they have said one. They're, the city is planning to make that, what is that road? I don't know what that Coughlin. is. Coughlin. Coughlin. Yes. A big bus route. It's a big yes. All the buses yeah. are going to go so down. So it seems like we should, we should plan for something like that. But yeah. They, it's they a city garage. So the city, shelter? the city, in, the city, the people in charge of the city infrastructure uh -huh. are going to say whether or not they're going to have seating areas or stuff like that. We can't do anything. We can't even imagine anything until we get some kind of approved plants because the city's got to approve it too. Yeah. So we yeah. So get it's like the Kaufman and the, yeah. and the site. We don't want to just come to the back like, and say, yes, we'll be happy to accept that money. And we, oh, by the way, we think it would be a good idea to consider making an artistic, you know, shelter. So to, uh, I think it's important and the reason that I just wanted it to be very clear, uh, these dollars are specific to the one thing. Got it. So that can be one conversation. So yes. Dollars. What we can't say is, and insert rest. Like we can say 150,000 for murals, thumbs up. We'd like to also discuss the possibility of totally fine with those two things being very separate. Yep. Another thing that I will note, and um, I wish I had more information about this, but I don't, is the way in which. Um, I don't understand enough about development, but the way in which this is being developed, um, the way in which land swap happens, um, while we own that building, we're not building that building. So um, I'm happy to investigate the possibility of it, and when, to Cindy's point, when we get more artist renderings and things along those lines, starting that conversation separately. Yeah, but the mural conversation for specifically related to 2024 budget, both for LBDA and for us, that the $150,000 project that you just embarked on is singular. Now. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. with no caveat of yeah, that's, yeah, it makes okay. sense. Great, you understand. But yeah, 100%. Um, and adding shade at, um, to consider and adding a shading project to the garage, and then in another breath. Um, the sustainability bus shelters and heat mapping, all of that. The heat map just came out, and also last week, which should terrify us all, um, there was a massive climate report that came out that said that the United States is heating up 60% faster yeah. than anywhere else in the world. Wow. So I think when we're looking at where people are traveling and making sure that we're providing spaces of reprieve for people during extreme heat, especially those that don't have car transportation and, and you know, but that's a really valid point. It doesn't. It means to be yeah, in our the four of our minds. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good point. I've added that to my notes. And if for some reason when we get down that road of talking about the hotel garage, if it slips, just bring it up again. But I'll make it. I'll make it another. Awesome. Thank you. Great. Okay. Nine B. The van wrap. We have a van. Our van came in. Yes. Show the picture. Ready. Well, I wish I had a picture of our <laughs> But don't worry, folks. It looks kind of like... <laughs> so we have our own band. <laughs> and, right. uh, and actually, it's not even that one. Ours is even a little bit longer. Oh, it's wow. longer, and it's but it is that tall. Oh, nice. Like a, right, a normally sized, average sized human, mm -hmm. it's totally long. Does it have windows? No. Oh. Very purposefully and in it's it's for moving art and things. Right. It's not, yeah. not for moving people, it's a thing moving van. Ooh. Yes. And it's at Fleet. Ooh. And it's ours. Wow, oh, that, that is so cool. So, well, it's not all. It's ours and the museums. Yeah. Well, but it's a step 
I mean, that's a it's step here. up. Come on. I know. Like, okay, okay totally. so we need two things here. Yeah. We need, we want to put a wrap on it that is art. That is art. And maybe local artists. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. And we need a task force of two to be willing to curate that and choose an artist. Okay. I am already on the task force, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm on the task force too. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. So, um, it would be a t so it would certainly be a task force to launch the call for artists, but I think because the project is so small, uh -huh. that the task force wouldn't pick the artwork. The that the commission will oh, choose right, the artwork. Right. Right. Oh, kind of like okay. like art on the move. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. So so the task force will help get it going, help right the social to get it out, all of those kinds of things. But wouldn't be cho wouldn't be choosing the art. Would just be yeah. And then, and then we would all look at at the things that got right yeah, yeah, submitted, yeah. and we would pick right. one. Um, the other thing we need to do is approve funds for this. And seriously, it's a big band, but it's not the wall of a parking lot. <laughs> We're thinking four thousand dollars at the most for okay. the whole thing. Wait for now, I mean, does anybody need it? Yeah. yeah, maybe, maybe less. I think we raised that our um, our statement. Our statement. I can't remember which one we picked. The expression. What is it like? What did we choose? For, I'm sorry, for what? For I was looking at last year. Oh, the, oh, yeah. the um, yeah, for creativity takes courage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Omri yeah. Matisse. Yeah, it'd be great to have it on there. That's possible. Uh, so, one thing I should say is um, we have stakeholders, right? Um, and they include the city's communications department and the museum. And so, and also the city. The Art and Public Places code is written such that public art does not equal signage, uh -huh. which is a good thing, right? Um, so we will be working with other, um, like when we're doing the selection panel, like Art on the Move, there there will be other people involved, and it's very important always to note that it will go through internal review and possibly even through some redesign before we land on a final. Uh -huh. I mean, it, it's pretty fairly a given. So while we have our ideas of what we think it should be or what it could be or this, that, and the other thing, we also have to be super realistic about all of that, especially when we're doing this. So yeah, like starting off with creativity takes courage, like that's a theme for this and it needs to be evocative of that or say, could say that as a, um, you know, and we might get that retracted. But if the selection panel is the whole commission, we're going to have a really, really, really good say. Okay. So, yes. This is um, aside from the signage on it, the wrap on it. Um, the intention of the band, will we, would we be doing any, I was thinking of maybe we could get one of those pull out awnings that you put down so that we could use it as part of an event. Um, there would be shade right away with it. You wouldn't have to try to pin it. Sure. Um, would that be possible or so too the, late, too much? The budget yeah. for the truck is done. So there will be a bulkhead installed, which means the, um, the wall that has a little door to the, um, where the cargo area is, uh -huh. but also if, um, the exhibits department is moving a large crate and it slams into the driver, right. the driver will be hurt. Right. That's being added. Uh, a flooring, a non-skid flooring is being added. And they were also investigating some sort of like temperature control situation. Mm -hmm. So if we had a moving art and also if we were using it for like a event, event or something like that, that it would be, it would get too bloody hot. That is the extent of the budget at this time. I don't think that the intention of this vehicle is to be like, have you seen the LPC vehicle? It's amazing. It was at Day of the Dead. Uh, Jennifer, remember the LPC vehicle at Day of the Dead? It was just to the, um, it was just to the south of the yarn shop. Anyway, they have, because they're LPC, uh -huh. 
-hmm. And they want to show how fast the next slide is. And it's not Elvis, it's the next slide. They have a screen mounted on the outside of yes. it and an awning. And so you can like play video games to like see how fast next light is. Yes. <laughs> like the functionality and the way that they're using that van versus I how get, we're using it is a little bit different. But but it's gonna be so great that we'll be able to put our tents in there and pull it up. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I think yeah, awning is probably no good idea. I think awning is probably the same. But I can in five years we'll say, you know what, this would be great yeah. if we could add this. And right. take the wrap off and do a new wrap with it. Or maybe next time we'll want to get a newer vest. <laughs> and we get theirs. <laughs> and we can rewrap it and we'll have to get digital <laughs> art. Right. Yes, they have that. And they make yeah. the ice cream. Right. Right. Yeah. No, but like if we get an, if we want to do ice cream out of the back of it, right. though, right. like for our outreach events, like that's what it's, it's uh -huh. that's for. Yeah. Right. So I said you need a motion, right? So yes, I need a motion. That to approve for funds from 2024. Okay. For the, to uh, complete the van up to four thousand dollars, or however much you want to spend. Up to four thousand yeah. dollars for for funds from 2024. I, to wrap our van. I can't hear you at all. I don't know why. Like it's, it's not, not. It's not. Seriously, you can hear everyone else, and I, I try. No, to. I really can't. I'm trying to read lips. <laughs> okay. Do you have? Okay. I move. That we approve from the 2024 budget up to four thousand dollars to wrap the van. Any seconds? I'll second. Everybody. Yeah. Ooh, Susan. Okay. All in favor? Okay. Nine more. So then, task force. Melanie, you said you're on a task force, and now I'm not recalling which one you are on. The bridge. You're on the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> but this is pretty little project, so probably anybody else who's on, I would say, of those three projects probably shouldn't sit on this one. Anybody else at the time? Okay. So I just need to be on it. Okay, you in? I can, I can do it too. I'm not on any task force right now. I don't think I'm on any more task force. I think I'm You're not. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be on it. Okay, Susan and Jennifer. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. Um, we, will, fun. we will get together soon. Okay. And new office. Here we have a new office. Yay! Woo! I went and saw the rough draft. Is it completed now? Nearly. Okay. Um, so we hope that the new office is going to be available for our holiday shindig on December the 14th. So oh, hopefully sorry. you're coming. And if not, um, if not, then we'll have it down here in one of these rooms and it will still be fantastic and lovely and we'll still go take a look at it. So that'll be fun. And also, as a piece of protocol, if you're ever arriving for a meeting, because we we're going to have some meeting space in there too, so meetings might be in the conference room, they might be in the new office, anyway. So when you come to the museum to catch up with Laura, Laura or I or anything, um, just stop at the front desk, of course, and let them know you're here. And then they might say, oh, you're in this room, or oh, you're in the new office. We may have a doorbell. So does everybody know where the new office is? We'll look at it. But to the, next to the moon rock mm -hmm. is the door that's gonna go back to the new office. So we may have a, an intercom and a doorbell there. So needless to say, the whole, the only thing that's gonna change is like, so after you check in with the front desk, if the front desk says, you know, if I were in the regular conference room, they'll call me and I'll meet you. And if we're in the new office, there may be a door. That's gonna be very cool. And Laura's getting her own desk. I know, I know. Officially. Okay. And you guys have windows. Um, I have windows. She has some walls. <laughs> Angela's taken the front of the desk. <laughs> okay, and in case there was any question, I brought a sample of a base. Okay, that's, is that the size that you About the size. Yeah, it's like a medium, not too big, not too small. No, no, not yeah, too yeah. of a neck, something that is like. Oh, right, because I have a lot of real weird neck. No, no, no. I, 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 I don't know you're whatever you want. Yeah, but I'm not, 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 I'
I, 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 want, I knew I didn't want that. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to learn how to do the, the right thing the right way. Yeah. So. so on the 14th, when you need to bring your own base, something like that. And if you need a base, just let me know. I can grab extras. Yeah. Okay. Also, I think I can't email you because you unsubscribe to Paperless Post. Are you planning on being there? I unsubscribe. That's what it tells me. It's like you're undeliverable. Yeah, maybe it well, it might not have been AIPP that sent something. It might have been somebody else. Yeah, sent it to you. not necessarily for me, but like the whole like enterprise of Paperless Post. And then I think Jennifer is So what time and then here, here at the Slippers? Okay. Six to eight. Six to eight. Yeah. Six to eight. Yeah. All right. And that's 14. Right? No. 14. Yeah. One month lights. Now, who judged the one month lights parade last year? I did. Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's seven. Okay. So they asked us to judge again this year. I have a yes. lot. I have a lot to say about that. <laughs> okay. Do um, it's that weekend. We'll let, let, maybe we talk about it first that might answer a lot of your questions right. and then we'll fill in the blanks. Oh my God. Does that sound like good? Yeah. Okay. So Longmont Lights is done by our friends in REC. And uh, there, there is a certain window that they have the tr streets, turn, uh, streets available for the, the uh, floats to park. Uh -huh. to get set up, uh -huh. to then get lined up, and then to do the parade and to shut down the parade. So I was like, okay, so they have a very specific block of time that things need to happen. Secondly, their requirement that we have to have judged before the floats go out into the parade. And so, so okay, there's that. Uh, and this year, they absolutely want us to make sure that we get the wreaths to the people and award them before they start. And I did it. And I said, okay, but we would like to see the floats um, when they're on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when they're set up. And like, how, yes. how is it that we can like work together and make that happen? So we're gonna talk about it. We're still working on it. Um, we have some ideas about like um, maybe doing the judging in groups. Like one group is responsible for one aspect of it. One group is responsible for another aspect of it. One group is responsible for another. We reconvene, we make sure we don't have duplicates and then we go out and cast them out. But to before we can, before the recreation department people and I can get together and hash out exactly how it's going to go down. I just need to know who is the team. And how many people can we have on this? As many as you want. As many as you want. But you okay. have. But we're going to start earlier this year. So um, I think that everybody needs to be at the Memorial Center by three thirty, no later. And and that's on the night of December. Oh yeah, oh, on the night of December. December. What's that? Saturday. 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 Okay. Saturday the night. Saturday. Sit or not. Summer night, yes. So, I mean, again, it's an honor. It's lovely that they asked us. It is not going to be perfect. And we're going to win a little, and they're going to win a little, and we're going to give a little, and they're going to give a little. It's still going to be light. It's still going to be light. Like, yeah. There's no way. Yeah. And one that. thing I would say that really helped us out last year yep. is there, there are, you know, nobody, the people who were entered were like scattered everywhere. Right? Yeah. And so we had to we'd go and we'd be like, are you in? Are you in? Are you in? Are you yeah. my mother? Are you my mother? Yeah. Right? So yeah. There, it took us so long to yeah. walk from one candidate to another yes. and around that whole area, right? So if they could organize the people by the ones who had entered the contest and once we have our back behind that, yeah. that would be better. Would that be way. ideal. We could get it judged much faster and then we sure. could get the weeks and then more by it. Sure. That would be ideal. Yeah. Um, and yes, we know that there's still going to be light and it's hard to see what's going on. Yeah, it's when it's light. But they should still turn on the lights. But yeah. they should still have the lights. Yeah. What they could do, they set their vehicle up at least the night before. And when it's dark, then work that way. Right? Like they're closing well, yeah, down. Well, listen, hear me out. Oh, always, okay. We always do that. Well, okay, but you're like, I'm literally, just... you do not let me finish my sentence. Okay. It's frustrating. Okay. So here's what I was going to say. 
is they, at their own home, at their own leisure, if they want to show us a picture of what it looks like when it's lit up in the dark, they could have that available. Okay. If they would want us to see that, because it was very hard to see what some of those look like. If they're, they had white string lights on a white body, you can't tell. Yes, right? I think that's brilliant. So, it is, and what I was going to say, and I did interrupt and apologize, is the applications for these have already gone in. So that is that is uh, feedback for next year. A brilliant idea, but feedback for next year. So again, we're, we're a little bit, the course is just a, a little bit out of the gate, and uh, the person who is running it, we definitely learned some lessons last year. Um, some of the things I thought that she would be able to give a little bit more concession on, um, she's not she's not available to give more concessions on, so okay. So I think like, Third time is going to be the charm. So um, the floats in the same area to be judged would be helpful. That might be possible. I don't know how that works. But for future, they submit with a photo to be judged, to help, to help with the judging. It could be just the day before. Yeah. I don't expect them to do it like when they fly in the air. Got it. Just Right, the if they before, were, you, you have to have it done by the day before. Right. right. Yeah. They could bring it with them with their float. Yeah, show exactly. You. Yeah. Just bring it with yeah. them. Totally. That's bring it in order to, yeah, like we have it digitally and like there they are, we hold it up or some, something like that. What I don't understand is like the requirements of her application. And I think that she she was as much um, exasperated as like, well, why can't you just, as I was. So I was like, why can't we see him at night? Like, I don't. I want to just give the reads some things at the end. Yeah. Like, yeah. judge them as they're going into the break. Like, this is I, I think you're so I mean, No. Yeah. Like, I well, get that the Rose Bowl does it in the way of they get judged before they're going into the break. Well, but it's light like out. And it's those are roses. And they're roses. It's not light. Yes. Like I know. It was my hill to die on. I was let. Yeah. Again, I was not being, I was not really listening to what she was saying, so I, I now I listen. Submit photo lit up. Good, good feedback. Laurel, did you have additional right, exactly blocks? Exactly what you said. Yeah, was, right. Was my feeling. Yeah. I was exhausted. Yes. Walking up that block. Yeah. And looking at at some things that were not in the parade. Yeah. And some things that were. You know, it was Just crazy. And the dance I was hardly made it to the to the last float. Yeah. And they looked entirely different. Lit up. Lit up. Totally, totally. different. Totally. I think the, my thought was you put, on, let it, let it. my thought was, why can't we be up, up on the bandstand that they're coming past? I know. And and you know, and judge them as they're coming by, and and, and make their little thing and hand it to them. I know. But it's about to move. But see, that's that's exactly uh, you know what um, Stephanie was saying is you know like there were dance groups, but they weren't there. Yeah. I mean, like we would walk by these tracks, and I would go, well, oh, what do you do? I don't know. I mean, okay, fine. And so, and then you know, when they started the the parade, then all of a sudden there's all these clock dancers and stuff on the track, and I went, "Oh, that's what you do," because and it, but you don't see any, you know. Yeah. So you know what I was thinking too. In the end, I think I'm going to bring my tricycle and I'm going <laughs> to hook on the back of that parade. And I'm gonna go down the street just like it with lights. I'll decorate the thing, <laughs> and and maybe I'll say AIPP or something. But we could always sign up for. You know, have to be careful, but we always sign up. Yeah, we have a band. We have a band. Like, that's right. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. We just get rid of all of this judging stuff and just enter we ourselves. Can just hand pick some art and stick it on there. LPC is <laughs> Jennifer has a question. Next light is gonna rue the day. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, so Jennifer. Jennifer's been waiting. Yeah. <laughs> <She's not laughs> Thank you all. Um, the, okay, so the other thing is that because they gave us this 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 evaluation form that was completely, completely useless. Yeah. And it 
uh, all, they were, some of the things were on there, some of the things, some of the books with added layers, but they were all out of order. We couldn't tell what was what. It was, it was anyway, and of course, I know Angelique commented about we had no clipboards. I ended up with this smashed piece of paper with all these little scratches on it that I could not use at all. Correct. So the evaluation form, I would really ask that, that be better. Okay. That be more useful. So we're just going to have to realize, no matter what, we're not going to be able to change the rules. Yeah. Like, whatever they decide that the rules are and the way we have to go with it, we're just going to have we're going to have to work together to make that. But I think if we come at 3.30 and we try to divide and conquer and make the best out of the situation as it finally lands, I think we'll be in good shape. But it's very clear, like, the things that I think we all agree on here, like you can't, it's Longmont Lights Parade. Longmont Lights Parade. Well, and the other thing is when I handed the wreath to the guy, yeah. he said, so we got for best, we got for best lights, right? And I went, no, you got for best ethnic thing. And then, guess what? what? What the? Ethnic thing? It was, it, I can't remember what the sure. term was. It yeah. was the ethnic, Something. Cultural. Yeah. It was a cultural. culture. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I couldn't remember what the name was. No, you got this, and I did use the right title. Okay, yeah, sure. So it was back then. But I said, no, you got this cultural thing, and he went, what? Oh. And I said, if, if you could hang that outside your window, and he went, yeah, okay, whatever. And he, you could just tell it was like he was like totally. The whole, everybody in the truck was like totally bummed out. Yeah. And I just felt, I just felt like I should just oh, no. well, this, go away. Well, this year, maybe the one thing that we can do, maybe the one thing that we can do is like if we know which ones are getting what, like we can stand and put them on, maybe when they're like fifth or sixth down the line to mm -hmm. get going, and hand them the wreath and help them put it on, and hand them the envelope with the goodies. Because that might make you a little more excited. Like we didn't hand out the goodies; they did that. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, so they get cards? Yeah, they got like gift cards and stuff. Did well, they have a? I, I left, you know, because I was really busy. But everybody was. Oh yeah, yeah everybody yeah. was running around. It was crazy. Four hours. And yeah, running around. I was too cold, but uh, so we didn't stay for the for the parade. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> did they? Didn't they have an announcer that announced the awards when they were going back? Did they? Not that I know. Oh, uh -uh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think they do it at the, do they do it at the very end? I don't know. And so see, here we are, right? Like we've been asked very nicely to be the judges and it's their event. Like we can have all the comments in the world. And I think that maybe that was where a little bit of frustration was on the other side is if I was like that, well, what about this? What about this? What about this? And it was very clear, Angela stayed in your room. So, <laughs> um, so we're going to, and we have suggestions and we'll try and find like the, the middle road right. and we will judge the best we can and as equitably as possible and, and all of those things and you know, okay. And we don't have to do this every year. Yeah. It was nice that, and also one more thing, it used to be a sponsor who did it every year. Okay. And they kind of had their way of doing it, you know, the way of their judging. And so now that it's in our, our hands, like I think there's maybe this opportunity of reinventing the wheel, and this was never Brett's problem. They never had to deal with, uh -huh. with this. So, um, okay, I have lots of things to consider. I will definitely ask as many questions as I can. And can I get a show of hands just one more time? Who might be able to participate? I see you, Nettie, what, what that you the, are interested. What was the date? Um, oh, yeah. Saturday, December 9th. Oh, um, the judging, I, I recall, was supposed to be like done by 4.30. We're definitely meeting at this point in time. I didn't say 3.30, but maybe even a little earlier than that. But the, the road closures and stuff, it's, it's quick. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, raise your hand who's in. I'll be good. Awesome. This time I'm very like seriously. Warm well, and we can stage out of the memorial building. Like all our stuff can be in there. So if you need to bring layers or whatever, but, and if you want to bring friends and family, do it. Yeah. Right. 
as so many have, people as possible. Pamela, Pamela, Stephanie, yep. Jennifer, Nettie. Yep. Uh, Jennifer. Oh, Stephanie. Uh, we lost <laughs> our few bits. Oh. I really forgot that scene. And I don't know why I've still got Nettie and I've got her back. Okay. Oh! We're trying to get you back. No, no. At some point, she has to have like no more, no more interaction yeah, that she, she couldn't say. Yeah. If you just go for a picture with you of the lights on, but that's just, again, that's presuming that people are actually done. Like, yeah. I mean, I think that there's yeah, that's true. There's all kinds of um, okay. Okay, next. Okay, yeah. Safety and justice building. As we know. There's going to be construction there. They're going to read it. We have a giant mural hanging up there called How We Live and What We Live For. It's not a mural, it's a mosaic. Okay. That's going to come down, and it's going to come down in a million pieces. There's not going to be any way we can put it back together. There's not going to be any way we can reuse those pieces for anything else. It's going to be basically destroyed when they get around to taking it down. So we need we can put this off if we want to because that's not going to be till spring sometime. Spring. So we need to decide if we want to just deaccession it. Or we have choice. Sounds like that's the only choice. We can discuss it. We can. I just don't see that there's anything we. There's no possible way to say that as near right. as I can tell. It's too big, and they're not going to care when they take it down. Yeah. Okay, so I move that we decommission the how we live and what we live for at the Safety and Justice Building due to its removal. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Did I cover that well? Okay. I mean, I, I think I that maybe I should just, uh, maybe before we second and vote, just as a clarification for extension. Um, we do, of course, have the relocation and deaccession policy. Um, you know, and, and again, going go. There are the reasons for relocation and deaccession, and so at this point in time, and for putting it on here, is just to let you know that this is coming, and um, that go, we would be going through the relocation and deaccession process, okay. one way or the other. That that would be happening. So it would. The question today, again, however you want to do it. Um, but it, it's on the back. So there it is. So can we yep. just can we vote to take session? Right Absolutely. Now? Yep. I have a motion from Pam and a second from Laurel. Is there any discussion? Does anybody have any questions about this at all? Okay. Vote. All in favor? All in favor of deaccession for this piece. Aye. Iris and Jennifer. Iris and I vote on. Yes. Yep, I see. Vote on. All opposed? Can All abstaining? Yes. I'm going to say actually, because I, I want to know what it looks like. I have no idea what I'm saying yes or no to. So, I'm the only one abstaining anyway. So, 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 so. Oh, you are too. Oh, okay, yeah. So, I just want to see what it is before I say yes or no. It's, You've done the safety justice mm -hmm. I really did. It's on the outside and it goes up by the clock and down. But it's very big. It's huge. And it's a couple of kids, I want to say. Yeah. I, I, my impression from here is room, a it's... couple of kids in a field, but I'm not 100% sure. So they're taking the whole part of the building down? Is that part of just demolishing that part of the building? Yes, that it's, is correct. It's lots of little tiles and there's just. So they're demolishing that. They're, they're yes. just going to demolish it. That's what's going to happen. How old is that piece? About 30 years old. Yeah, it's, we've had it for about 30 years. 
Um, so I think that it, because of clarifications and two abstentions, again, I think that it's it's prudent just to make sure that everybody understands what you're voting for. Okay. Or against first. So hold on just a second and let me talk up the where are you gonna pop? I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna pop it. Right. And we'll the walk other, around. The other option we have is we can delay the absent vote until next month, until January. December, January, take a look at it. That's kind of what I was thinking. We can, yeah, so so the other option is to know, take, is to so table, so. according to the relocation deaccession policy and procedure, what you can do is, and then again, this line item is here to let you know it is coming. The policy and procedure reads that if um, you, that a task force would be convened to assess and make a recommendation based upon all of the evidence of what it is, how it's coming down, what information we have, and then the staff recommendation, which is to deaccession this object because the savior of it is nearly impossible and relocating is not possible. There's nowhere for it to go. Um, and to review all of that documentation and bring it back to the commission. So the two choices is that you can, based upon what you know, deaccession it tonight, or you can convene a task force to make a recommendation in January. One of those two ways is going to go. The fact of how it is coming down and the methodology that it's coming down, all of that, like the facts are the facts are the facts. But, um, okay, yes, but I, apologize. Me, I apologize. I okay. apologize for jumping the gun there. But let me show you what it is, just so we're all clear. So when you're going into this vote, you know, and I think that the intention initially, and again, who knows what, we probably weren't the whole out, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, it's fine. There's nothing it's to eight. I bought more red. Just so everybody knows. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, well, who was it? It was 30 years ago. It was 93. Here it is. It's one of the earlier pieces in the collection. Um, the artist. Oh, yeah, here's me up on top of a, a people mover. Um, here we go. I'll just pass this around. Okay. Um, so in 2001, when they were initially talking about the removal of it, um, and they were looking at the integrity of the building, mm -hmm. they had a person lift, and I actually went up onto it and did an assessment of the work. I mean, 2021. Okay. Also, I think it's I think it's very faded from that picture. It's possible. My so I just course I look at that. I'm barely the same thing. So it's the same. Tile. I strongly encourage everybody to just pull there into the parking lot at the Sage of Justice and look at it. Oh, um, okay. yeah. So it's like right across from the library. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can stand in here. Now, is this? Is just you know, we can do it. Yeah. 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 My impression, I never examined it really, but my impression of it is that it's very beige. Yes. It's not very. <laughs> Not yeah. very. It's a picture yeah. all this like big bright blue sky. And I, I don't remember that at all. Is it like certain? It's, like it's totally possible. Sure. So so um oh here's a really good image. See that? That's rust. What we? Uh, let's see. Here it is a child. See that? Yeah, yeah that's rust. Right. And so. Well, part of the problem of the integrity of the building. It's not the no, no, the artwork is the very, very least of the so okay, that's makes sense. The entire clock tower is coming down, including the clock. It will not be replaced. It will not be replaced. An entirely new building will be put in its place. And um, the primary, the primary uh, opportunity that the city is taking, 
and I would show you what they say on it. Anyway, it's okay. I could read it to you. Uh, is that it's not carefully considering that the safety and justice building can houses dispatch, police, and fire, and the courts, and the courts. So fixing the substructure of the building versus taking down the problems, reinforcing what will be left and reconstruction will not only fix some of the safety issues to the safety and justice building, but it will also um, allow and enforce that every single person who goes through there has to go through metal detection and um, all of that, bringing it up to current day code and all of the things that we don't like to admit about the 21st century, but it's just true. So, um, so again, uh, things that we don't know about the, the structure of, of our artwork, we don't know what it looks like from the bottom of it. Um, and we know that the cost to demo the building and everything includes the demolition of this in the fashion in which they're demoing it. If we wanted to salvage or save or something along those lines, then Park and Public Places would then have to insert themselves into the situation and find another way to do that. And I don't, I can tell you right now, based <laughs> on like, some of the other projects that we have, like I have zero idea how that could possibly be an affordable. So I, I, that yeah. helps to see us. Just the context. Okay, okay. so now I have a procedural yeah. question. Yeah. So hold on, so hold on just a second. We have a majority motion. I know, I just, with two abstentions, while it's fine for you to abstain, when Danielle starts asking questions about, I don't even know what we're talking about, yeah. it just doesn't feel responsible for me as an administrator yes. of this program to allow a vote and a motion to go forward all the way through without everybody feeling like they have ample information, considering we have a policy and procedure for this, right? Yeah. Which we're bypassing here. So a procedural so, question. Yes. Do we need to withdraw that motion in some way? Uh, no, I just think we should restate and re vote. Okay. If, that's if we, yeah. But do we want to table it? No. I mean, I don't think we want I'm good. Does no, I just, I anybody want to go and, do you want to go and look at it before you vote? I feel comfortable with it. That, that rust on that can't get that picture okay. of me right yeah. there is, that rust is terrifying looking yeah. just as a whole. Yeah. I, 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 I apologize I again. Level. I was just, it just seems so obvious to me and I, left, I jumped the gun, so awkward. So, um, how we live and what we live for. Are we going to recommend that we decommission this work? I recommend that we decommission how we live and what we live for at the safety and justice building. Okay, is there a second? I second it. Okay. okay, thank you. And, and are we all comfortable with voting at this time? I am. All right, great. Thank all you. in favor? Okay. Second. First. Same as the first. Yes. Jennifer is in. Iris. Yes. <laughs> yes. Iris. Okay. Iris is voting yes. yes. I think you can see them. Uh, yeah. I'll see for you crying with Iris. I see you, Iris. Okay. And one abstention. <laughs> Not one abstention. So. Uh, Debbie, and you, no, I, I voted in favor. Okay. Very good. It's nine one. Thank you. Commissioner comments. Job one. one. Uh, of course, I left my phone in my car, but I went to, and I don't know if this has already been discussed, it could have been a meeting that I've already, that I maybe missed or something this year, but the QR codes for this boat project, neither QR code was working. Ooh. One code, Q, the QR code to actually like work the display, I used my husband's phone and my phone, and neither phone would work the QR code for like the imagery, yeah. and then the, the QR code that he's displayed for his personal work yeah. is a no longer an active um, Instagram yeah. account. So I just, I noticed that two, two days ago, so I just wanted to bring that up. Thank you. Yeah. That's too bad. Right? Right. self never, ever, ever mural a QR code. Well, I, I, I was just kind of shocked too that he would pull his own page down off of the, like that. He's totally cool. restructured. Yeah, and, that's, and then it's linked to other different pages, but that page is completely empty, and yeah. it's, a, it's a link to other pages now. I will reach so. out to him because that artwork is under warranty. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. So I was like, it hasn't been long enough. Yeah, so I was just like, really work, like, well, like, yeah, well, I just like, yeah, I wanted to see it work. It did work, but when it did work, I went up and it was like, oh, it's glitchy. One, one little thing. Oh, it would even have taken a glitch, but I was standing on the footprints and, and it's not obvious that that's what those little footprints are for. Oh, uh -huh. Is there it's anything that we could put there. on the ground, sorry, to, um, to help with that, like stand here, stand to your side, or like a little camera graphic. I think that hundred percent. Would that help? I think that might help. What if even like because stand those little footprints are vinyl, and so when you film, only hold on to the concrete for so. Or no, 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 no. Like paint. We paint it. Yeah. The when I stood on the footprints months ago, the art vibe worked perfectly. Oh, yeah, if I yeah. took one step off. It was glitchy. It's just oh, yeah. Okay. Well, then that makes it huge difference. <laughs> Stand exactly. Don't move. Stand yeah. Don't move. Don't move. Stand Stand move. Stand 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 Four feet up. You can only Stand do up. from this position. Oh. So would a camera icon painted like if it was feet and camera icon? I think so. Would that, that be helpful? Right. Would camera or cell phone? Cell phone. Like cell phone sideways. With a camera. With a camera. <laughs> yeah, that's the Because if you're holding your camera, it's not going to work. Maybe we think a camera icon is better than a cell phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody has a real camera anymore, right? Even though what the camera image means, like you're taking a picture. All right, well, maybe we'll try that, but certainly investigate QR. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any any other comments from anybody? More. Um, if possible, I would like to add to January's um, agenda um, the work um, that the commission got from the firehouse, which was the altar. It's called the altar piece by um, uh, Leia and uh, Trujillo. Um, and it was the key, it was the two big round pieces of the police interaction and the death of the two Hispanic um, men. And I was talking to Angela about it, and, and it's just in storage. We, I was on the original task force for that. We had, we had all voted to buy it. and. Um, Right now it's in storage. We were waiting to see if we could put it in the library and then the whole library vote about the branches and it becoming a library district. Is that the right term? I'll move on. The court um, did not pass. And so we can go back and reinvestigate that with them and see if they're willing to um, give us a little alcove or display with the history of, or QR code with the history of it. Also the idea of it being, even if we did that, being part of day to dead and doing the altar with either the families invited to decorate and having the artwork displayed um, while the other altars are displayed. I just thought it would be, I thought it would be so if we could just add that to next month's agenda and we'll open up the discussion then. Would okay. someone else like to join you as the task force because the other task previous force task no force member is no longer and he's not with us. Yep. And that would I mean either scheduling a meeting with the library before our meeting in January or depending on what they say, it would be uh, on or after. So something like that. That would be the commitment. Okay, else? I have That's a question. Okay. I just had a question. Um, I got you. I'll be with you. <laughs> oh, never mind. I answered my own question. Okay. Good work. Okay. Thank you. If somebody changes their mind and wants to sit on that task force, let me know. Okay. okay. So, 11, icebreaker. And I have something to say about this. I don't think this should go on the agenda. I agree. I don't really want to 
have our little intimate details recorded for all time on the internet. It's not really AIPP business. Mm -hmm. I think we should move this to the 5.30 to 6 era before we start our meetings. If people want to come and chat and have icebreakers then, I think that would be terrific. I would very much like that. How does everybody else feel about that? I much, very, very much agree. I it's really don't agree. like myself being recorded with all of my personal details. I love you all and I really want to get to know everybody more, but I genuinely don't want my personal information uh, shared. Um, for YouTube and for everybody else to have at all times. So I will be 100%. Okay, yeah, it's fine with me. Does anybody think this is a terrible idea to move this? No. I agree. Okay, so we'll just make sure that we have, oh, we'll just make sure that we always have that 5.30 to 6 if we're meeting in here or elsewhere. Mm -hmm. That are meeting time. Such a wonderful recipe. <laughs> no good recipes. Is that? I, you know, yes, but recipes. <laughs> I sent mine to Laura. The cranberry <laughs> relish. Yay! So anybody who would like to know about it, this is a hit every year that we have to Thanksgiving. So anyone who wants to know, what is a whole cranberry relish ah. with the mandarin oranges and oh, mint. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I still want your thing. Yeah, no, I, 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 like, I still want all no, this. No, the last thing you still have. I was like, I'm sorry I didn't send my recipe, but can you just send a full file with everybody's recipe? That's what I'm gonna do, guys. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry, happy Mary, Mary. Uh, well, well, okay, I'll send it to you tonight. So, Stephanie, so, if you're gonna be sharing a recipe, what recipe will you be sharing? Uh, I thought we were business. Are we not? Well, we can still share recipes if you want to. I, I, there's my recipe. Yeah, just I'll send me your recipe if you don't want to share it. I'll be sharing yeah, it. Let me put it on my phone. No, I can take a picture of it on my phone. Okay, awesome. there, that's it. I'll be there. Does anybody right. else want to share what recipe you're bringing? Well, yeah, I'm going to do a southern spicy marmalade ginger cake. Oh, no. We have a lot of drinks. Well, my, mine's going to gonna be um, uh, curried sweet potato soup. Oh yeah, oh, I want that. I was good at New York Times chicken rolls, but then now I feel like I need to switch this to a different like dish. So there's an actual. I really want. That. So send your recipe to Laura before, preferably yeah. before uh, yeah. December. Okay. 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 Um, item twelve. Wait, wait. Go. Oh, so I want to invite you all to my studio. We're doing a holiday sale the first and second. Yay. If you want a flyer, you can come grab one. Because we're trying to push for this whole thing to happen. I do, I do. Yeah, so we'll send it digitally to Nettie and Jennifer and Iris. Yeah, we uh, this Friday. Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, no, no, just reverse. Oh, just one more okay. thing um, regarding kind of protocol -y stuff or whatever since we're kind of on it. Uh, I did see the note in the meeting minutes about doing nuts and bolts for the meeting. So speaking of taking things off, we're going to add, if you are all agreeable, just a little bit of nuts and bolts every single meeting, like you talked about last week. Can we start in January with the new people? Yeah, because you're not meeting this time. That's right, we're not meeting in December. That's right, that's right. We're going to be doing more arrangements. Okay, so I need a motion to, if we're all done, if everybody said everything they need to say this month, I need a motion to adjourn. I want to, oh, wait, your first guess. Uh, wait, I just want to say, okay, so I didn't say, but I shared my gift for a recipe, which I shared with many people, everyone, everyone loves. Yay! So watch for that. Okay, yeah. Gingerbread. Oh, gingerbread. Everyone else. So I love you. Are we going to meet all night or something? We all love it to adjourn. I'm going to make a motion to adjourn. Any other Stephanie? All right. Uh, at 7 4 1. Thank you all very much. Happy, happy.